Hello, my name is Daryl Gove. I work in the Solaris Studio compiler team doing performance analysis. And today I'm talking to Nawal Kopti, our OpenMP committee representative, about what is OpenMP and how we're supporting it in the compiler. So now, can you tell me what OpenMP is? So OpenMP is a way to write parallel programs. And uh, the idea behind OpenMP is very simple. So you start with your C, C++, or Fortran program okay. and uh, insert directives in the code specifying to the compiler which parts of the code you want to parallelize. What advantages does this have over doing the same thing using POSIX threads? There are several advantages. For one thing, OpenMP is uh, easy to learn, easy to use. All you need to know is what directives you will need to parallelize your program. The other thing is you don't have to rewrite your application. So you could start with your existing C, C++ or Fortran program and just insert directives in the places where you want to parallelize. That's what's called incremental okay. parallelization. So you're just adding parallelism bit by bit to the places of the code that you want to parallelize. So what kinds of parallelism does OpenMP support? One is what we call a parallel region, where you have a block of code in your program, and you want that block of code to be executed by multiple threads redundantly. So you would identify that as a parallel region. Okay. Another type of parallelism is what we call parallel loop. And here, uh, you would have a loop in your program <clears throat> with uh, independent iterations that can be executed in any order. And you would identify that loop as a parallel loop. So you'd have multiple threads executing that loop where okay. each thread is taking a different, a different subset of those uh, iterations in the loop. Okay. Uh, a third type of parallelism is uh, what we call tasking where you have uh, different blocks of code in your program and uh, you identify those as tasks and then those tasks at runtime will be put in a pool or a queue and uh, the threads will just pick one task after another from that queue and execute it. So how long has the OpenMP specification been around for? OpenMP has been around for quite some time now. It's been around for about 16 years. So the first OpenMP specification was released in uh, 1997. That was version 1.0. And then last year in July 2013, uh, version 4.0 was released. Okay. So what's new in version 4.0? So version 4.0 uh, includes several new features. I'll, I'll just mention a few here. Okay. So um, one of the features is called region cancellation. So there are mechanisms for the programmer to be able to uh, abort or terminate the execution of a region uh, right. if certain conditions occur. So you actually abort the region and you uh, exit it cleanly. Right. Uh, that's what's called uh, region cancellation. Another uh, feature is uh, task dependencies. So let's say your application has all these tasks that we just uh, mentioned, and yep. uh, they're put in the pool or the queue, and yep. the threads are picking them uh, one after the other. Um, it might be uh, useful for some applications to say that uh, this task depends on that other task. Right. Say, uh, task B depends on task A. So in this case, uh, what you would want is task B to wait for task A to finish execution before task B would start. Okay. And so the new specification gives you mechanisms to express uh, this kind of dependency. Um, another uh, important feature in the 4.0 specification is uh, what we call thread affinity. Uh, often for, um, for, for getting better performance, what you want to do is um, have the threads of the application run on certain processors and just run on those processors and not move around while the uh, application is executing. So in order to uh, 
to have those threads stay where they are. There are mechanisms in OpenMP 4.0 that allow you to specify this kind of thread affinity. Okay. So if I want to use OpenMP, what sort of things do I need to pay attention to in order that my program should work? You need to pay attention to several things, actually. Uh, for one thing, um, you need to be aware that um, the threads are communicating uh, using shared data. And therefore, you have to be aware that uh, when threads are accessing shared data, that access needs to be synchronized. Um, so one problem that uh, you would need to avoid is what's called data races. And that's where two threads are accessing the same uh, piece of data that's not synchronized. The access is not synchronized. And one of the threads is writing to that piece of data. So that would create what we call the race condition, meaning that the result will be um, different possibly from run to run, and it will be unpredictable, and the program may even crash. So you have to be very careful when you're accessing shared data to put in the correct synchronizations and uh, avoid data races. Another uh, problem that, that is not just uh, uh, particular to OpenMP, mm. but to parallel programming in general, you need to avoid having deadlocks. And deadlocks might come about because uh, you're not using locks properly. So you might have one thread blocked waiting for another thread, and that other thread is also blocked waiting for that thread. So uh, none of the two threads can proceed. Right, so it's a forward progress issue. Yes, right. uh, and, and with this you need to be very careful about how you use your locks. Okay, so do, do we have any way of helping a developer identify these problems? Um, actually, Oracle Solaris Studio does have a tool and it's called the Thread Analyzer and uh, this tool will help you detect uh, data races as well as deadlocks in your program and uh, I would highly recommend using it okay. if you're writing an OpenMP program. Right, that seems like good guidance. So thank you very much for spending some time this morning with me. Thank you.